Hello everyone, my name is Manoj Kumar, founder of Think and Code YouTube channel. Now I am going to explain the program how to roll a die using Python programming language. First of all, what is a die? It is a small cube object with six equal square sides with a different number of spots on each side. Means on one side we get one spot, means one dot. On other side we get two spots, means two dots like that. Okay. Now let's go into the program C. Here I want to generate numbers randomly. By randomly means if we throw a die once, we get one. If we throw another time, we may get six. If we throw another time, we may get five. So here the numbers are generating randomly. We can't be able to predict the number. So here the numbers are generating randomly. So in Python to generate numbers randomly, we have a module known as random module. With the help of import keyword, I am importing random module. Okay. Import random. Here import is a keyword and random is a module. Inside the random module, we have different random functions. Okay. Here random is a module that can generate random numbers in Python programming language. Okay. Now I am taking a variable r is equal to input of I want to print some message in the output screen. Okay. So I will write So here R is a variable, input is a function which is used to ask input from the user. Okay. I want to print some message in the output scheme. So inside the input, I'm writing input of would you like to roll the die? Yes or no. Okay. Y means yes, N means no. Okay. Here hash is a comments which is used to write comments in the output screen. Okay. So here we are writing input of not int of input of. So here R will be a string. Okay. It may be small y or capital Y. Okay. R may be the small y or capital y. Okay. Here remember R is a string, not integer. R is a string. Here R is a variable of string data type, not integer data type. Next. I'm writing while. Here I'm using while loop here. Loop means we are iterating number of times. Means if we play the game Ludo or Snake and Ladder, we want to roll the die number of times. So number of times iterations happens. So iterations happens means we are using loop. So I'm using while loop here. So while loop inside the while loop, I should write some condition, right? So I'm writing r dot upper. Here r dot here r is a string. Here upper is a string function. Here upper is a function which is used to change string from lower characters to upper characters. Means lower case to upper case. Here upper is a function which is used to change the string from lower case to upper case. Means small y to capital Y. Okay. If we give here small y, then with the help of r dot of upper function, we can change into capital Y. Okay is equal to is equal to capital Y. Okay. Here while R dot of upper is equal to Y. If I want to roll the die, I'm giving input as Y. Means yes, I want to roll the die. So it will check in the while loop the condition. If the condition satisfy it go into the while loop. Here I'm writing print yeah, I want to roll the die. Now the die is rolling. So rolling the die. Okay. Here the die is rolling. Okay. Next. Here I want to print some number, random number. Okay. So random is a module which is used to generate numbers randomly. Right in Python. So 
it is a module random is a module inside the module we have number of functions see now you will get to see random dot here we'll get see see random dot random random got system random random dot choice random dot choices we have different number of functions inside the random module so here we have one two six right we should get the number between one two six including one and six also so i am using here random dot rand int okay okay here a comma b it, it said right see here i can write see random dot rand int a comma b means lower limit and upper limit okay lower limit and upper limit means lower limit and higher limit return random integer in range see here we have this brackets okay this brackets we have means both a and b will be inclusive okay we have we know right inclusive and exclusive concepts we studied in schools so here a comma b one comma six okay here what's the meaning of this print statement means here we'll get the number between one or two or three or four or five or six okay so random is a method in python which returns a random integer value between two lower and higher limits including both limits provided as two parameters so random dot randint here random is a module here randint is a function here these two are known as parameters right one comma six is known as parameters this is lower limit this is upper limit here one and six also included here okay so what's the meaning of this means one comma six the meaning of this will be this the meaning of this is nothing but both one and six are included we may get one and we may get six also here we have like in range for look for i in range we'll write right one comma six there we'll get we want to print i means for i in range print i means one comma six means one to five only we'll get six will be exclusive but in this case both one and six will be inclusive means we'll get the output one and six okay next so i'm writing again r is equal to input of i want to print some message in the output screen so do you want to roll the dice again yes or no so here r is a variable input is a function which is used to ask the input from the user i'm printing some message in the output screen do you want to roll the die again if you want to roll the die again if i want to if i'll give again y means it will again come here see it will come again here and it will check r dot of upper is equal to by then again same process okay if i don't want to print means if i want if i don't want to roll a die i want to stop it then i'll write else inside else i'm writing print thank you for playing okay here i'm giving is equal to better understanding okay so that's it the program okay so i'm running the program c i want to save it so it's asking would you like to roll the die yes or no yes i want to roll the die first i'm giving small y here i'm giving small y so the value of the value of r will be small y okay 
now it will go to the while loop r dot of upper is equal to y okay so i'm giving enter yes the condition satisfy so the rail the dice is rolling it prints the, in the message and the output screen so we get the number as two so it's asking do you want to roll the die again yes i want now i'll give capital y okay yes pull in the die y once five we are getting different numbers six will be also included i said right we are getting six numbers also so i'm giving n thank you for playing so here i am seeing here r is equal to input of would you like to roll the dice yes or no it's asking i'm giving s y or small y or capital y okay here i gave it here i gave small y or capital y small y I give first okay then then it will go to here while loop r dot of upper it will check the condition means y dot of upper it will change to upper case this small y this small y will change to upper case so the condition will satisfy so while of one means the condition will satisfy it will go to inside the while loop it will print roll in the dice okay see here roll in the dice is printed next Next, print random dot rand int of one comma six. It want to print some random integer in the output screen, random number in the output screen. So it printed here. Two is the random integer. Okay. Do you want to roll the dice again? Why? Because I wrote statement here. R dot R is equal to input. Do you want to roll the dice again? I'm asking again input. I want to roll the die again or not? Yes, I want to roll the die again. So I given Y. This time I gave capital Y. So again it will go here. Again it will check R dot of upper is equal to Y. Yes, condition satisfy. It will print rolling the dice and it will print some random integer. Here it print what? Five, one in printed. And again it will ask, do you want to roll the dice again? Yes, five. And again I want to roll the die, five. Again, I want to roll the die. Yes, I want to get some number six. So, okay, I want to stop here. Do you want to roll the dice again? It will ask. Then I'll give an or some any number, anything we can give. Then it will go to see here. Here, r dot of upper is equal to y means it will go here. Other than that, it will go to else statement. Okay, else. Inside else, what we have print, thank you for playing. So that will be printed in the output screen here. So do you want to roll the die again? It will ask means yes or no means and means no I'm giving. So thank you for playing. That's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. If the video is nice, like it and share it to your friends. And please subscribe to my channel and support my channel. Thank you.